In today's session, we will see what is .NET. So, before we proceed towards what is .NET, it is better we see. So, we will see what is that I can do with this .NET. I can do many things. I can do anything I can do with this .NET. Example, I can create any kind of Windows application. Now, what are Windows application? Anything that we see on our Windows operating system, Windows operating system, we see MS Office, it is a Windows application. We see Notepad, it is a Windows application. We see Calculator, it is a Windows application. I can develop any kind of Windows application using .NET. I can develop any kind of console applications. So what is a console application? A console application is any application that works on black and white screen. Example we can take, example of console application, the best example could be DOS. MS-DOS, we have seen that on MS-DOS we work on black and white screen. We write commands, we get the results. It is a console application. I can develop any kind of web application. What is a web application? Any website is a web application. Web application is a kind of application which is installed on a single system or deployed on a single system and is being accessed by many other systems which are in network. So that could be a web application. Example, Gmail is a web application. Google is a web application. So I can take any kind of website that will be a web application. The best example could be my Gmail, my Google, many things. These are all web applications. Any kind of mobile application. Now, what is mobile application? We have seen many kind of applications in our mobiles. Like we have converters, we have calculators, we have many things in our mobile. We have many games in our mobile. So, example could be a calculator in our mobile. A calculator in our mobile is a Windows application. So, I can develop any kind of Windows application. I can develop any kind of web services. This is really boom in the market. Web service, so what is a web service? Web service is nothing but a kind of service which is provided for a web application. Now, if we take an analogy, now, whenever we go and arrange the functions, so there is a task, there is a part of a function that is nothing but catering. So what we do? We outsource the catering. That is, we will go and ask a caterer to provide a service of catering. In the same way, in our application, if we have some task that is already being done by someone, example could be you know, gateway services, online payment. So whenever we go for online payment, we need to give our credit card, we need to give our expiry date and many things. So they will detect the amount from our account and transfer it to the account of website owner. So what is that we need to do? We need not to implement that. That is a kind of service which is provided by a web servers. So I can ask for the service, I can utilize that. A best example would be a search engine. If I want to have the facility of search engine in my website, I need not to implement it because it has already been implemented by Google. So we, you might have observed on many websites, there is a text box and a search engine and up to bottom to that it is written as powered by Google means what they are using the web service provided by the Google. So Google web services could be the best example. And many more. Uh, one more uh, famous web service is Amazon. So and so many. this is what all about your web services. So I can develop any kind of web service. I can also develop a class library. So what is a class library? Class library is nothing but 
a reusable component. If I have, if I want to make a reusable component, I can use a class library. Example, uh, there are many, like for example, in C, C++ you might have been using in C, printf to print something. And in uh, C++, C out, C in to print something, C out. So this is what a reusable component has been developed in C, you are using it printf. In C++, you are using zero. In the same way, if I want to create my own reusable component in .NET, I can create with the help of class library. Not only this, I can do many, 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 many more things with this .NET. Now, let us move towards why .NET. First, we have seen what is that I can do with this .NET. Now, let us see why do I need .NET. See, prior to this .NET, the a Windows application, I was using Vivi. And if I want to develop a web application,